Good Wednesday morning, Northern Michigan. Dr. Jen Kabundi with Northwood Animal Hospital is here this morning. Also, we have a little familiar face that you brought, Dr. Kabundi. Beautiful little indigo. Yep, Indigo, I brought her on a few weeks ago. She's yeah. from the Chairland Humane Society. Um, she is two years old and she's been there almost her entire life. So she is the cat that's been at Cherryland the, the longest of any other cat. So we're really, really pulling for her to find a home today. Um, she's so great. She is. She's spayed already. Her adoption feed is, fee is already paid for. So she is essentially a free cat just waiting for the right home. She's just good to, if there are any animal lovers out there, especially cat people, yes. this cat's awesome. I'm yes. seriously just telling you, cute little petite black kitty. Yes. Um, today though, besides indigo, we're talking about some kind of disgusting things that our pets do, primarily the dogs yeah. sometimes when they go outside. They go outside and they eat poop. Yeah. And this is really common. We see it all the time. We see it in young dogs. We see it in old dogs. It doesn't really matter. Um, spring, summer, fall, and winter, we see it. it. It's something that has a name. It's called coprogy. It's a hard word to pronounce. Coprogy. Yes, and, but it means poop eating, stool eating. And so it's something, it's not going to cause them a lot of harm, but okay. it's gross because they do it, then they come in and they lick our face. We don't want, we don't want, <laughs> want ha no. to have anything to do with that. So, you know, why do they have it? That's the big right. question that people ask me all the time. Because they, they'll either, you know, when they sometimes go to the bathroom, they'll eat their own, or sometimes right. they're on a walk and they find another animal's. I have clients that have two dogs, one trails the other one in the backyard, and as soon as one goes, the other one is right there to eat it up. So, you know, why do they do it? We really don't know for sure, but if you think about it from an evolutionary standpoint, these dogs are outside, they were wild animals. You know, lots of times you're hiding from predators, and so you're gonna have to cover up the evidence that you were there. So in the wild, lots of times these wild dogs will defecate and then eat it to, to cover up their scat, to kind of hide it from the predators and keep them safe. Um, if you think about a mother dog, yeah, and she has puppies, as soon as they're born, she licks them to stimulate them to have a bowel movement, and then it's her job to lick that up and clean them and, and keep them clean and healthy. So a lot of dogs just don't ever outgrow this. Sure. Um, it's usually, like I said, it's not harmful. It's just gross. There are some things that we can do, though, okay. besides picking it up right away. Uh, there is a medication that we can give them that actually it, it makes the stool taste really bad, as if it didn't taste bad enough on its own. <laughs> You've got to put something in it. <laughs> we, we can make it taste oh, worse. No. Right. So all you do, that's that's it. It's either a powder or a little treat, and you just put it in with every meal. It, it flavors the stool to be even more unappealing for a dog. So they won't want to go after it. It's aversion therapy, so they'll oh. they'll decide not to do it after a while. You'll but love your it's dog, gross. It, it, yeah, it's gross. It's a big deal now because all the snow is melting, and everybody's got some landmines in their yard. Right. You need to get out there and clean them up. Dr. Plumbundi, thank Thanks. you so much. Always interesting information. We are going to have part two of Pet Talk coming up in about 20 minutes, so definitely stay with us.